I support the right of self-defense without any doubt I would be involved myself in violent resistance if I were a citizen of Palestine or Iraq or Afghanistan. And if I were a citizen of the United States or Britain and someone from halfway around the world came into my country and started stealing my land and killing my family, guess what? I would defend my country as well. So. I absolutely 100% defend the right of self-defense and I will never shy away from that. I will not join the long list of embarrassments who condemn terrorism while I'm forgetting to acknowledge that the biggest terrorist on the planet is the United States government. Hamas doesn't recognize the right of Israel to exist. You know what that sounds like to me? That sounds like the African National Congress and Nelson Mandela refusing to accept apartheid and recognize apartheid. I say that Israel, if it wants to be a genuine partner in any kind of peace, needs to destroy its whole ideology of Zionism. Zionism that makes other people goyim, who do not deserve to be in the Holy Land. That's the real problem. If Israel will embrace every people, including Palestinians, equally, human rights respected across the board, then I would challenge Hamas to change its charter and say we will acknowledge Israel. But until that time, I see no difference between Nelson Mandela and Hamas in refusing to accept apartheid or the Zionist Israeli state.